Hi everyone, my name is Bernard Duham, the founder of Creo Glass Design, and today I will teach you how to measure for a hop splash bag the simplest and the most accurate way. So before we get started, I wanted to tell you something about different techniques, how to measure glass splash bag. The most common one is using tape measure, and measuring directly straight across uh, from left to right and from bottom to the top. Now, the the problem with this technique is, firstly, where the tape measure bends, you cannot take accurate reading. Second one is, um, you cannot tell if the splash bag shape is slightly raked. We do not use this technique, I don't uh, advise anyone to use this. Second technique is using templating. Templating materials um, like cardboard or uh, Corex, which is a plastic tubular floor covering. Uh, is also no good because they get damaged and they get out of shape very quickly and so the measurements are out immediately. Templating for kitchen splash bags using rigid materials like plywood or MDF is very accurate. It's one of the most uh, used and approved by professionals all around the world. Um, you can use uh, plywood or MDF uh, between four millimeter to an inch thickness, okay? The, the benefit of this, uh, this technique is that it will allow you to maneuver the entire uh, prototype of splash bag into the position so you can rehearse the entire movement of the installation. The drawback is you need to buy a sheet material which is quite heavy and awkward to get hold of. You need to have uh, joinery skills and, and so you need to have uh, joinery equipment. The other drawback uh, of this uh, technique is it, the final product needs to be delivered to a glazing company which will be, use it to, to cut the glass for you um, and this is not always possible. In a simple terms, you cannot email a rigid template. Now, the best technique that I would recommend to absolutely everyone is a technique called measuring from datum lines. Measuring from datum lines uh, doesn't require any major skills, requires only a basic tools like a spirit level tape measure, pencil, and a piece of paper. So, firstly, make the drawings, rough drawings, of the splash bag shape that you're going to measure. Then make a cross roughly in the middle, okay? So this is your datum line one and datum line two. Now we're going to replicate those datum lines on the wall. So using spirit level, you put it roughly in the middle and you draw a vertical line. Make sure it is perfectly vertical. Okay. Then you do the same thing, do the horizontal somewhere roughly in the middle if you're out. Don't worry about it. It's not important. What is really important, however, that your level is true. You have to make sure that that bubble is right in the center. Okay. That will make sure that your angle against each other is 90 degree. The next step is to start taking measurements using our datum lines and a tape measure. So you measure from the left of the furniture to the datum line and you take down the reading. So the correct technique of holding tape measure is going with the end of the tape measure towards the wall and see the reading on your datum line. Three, zero, eight millimeters. And you repeat the same process to the right. Two, nine, four. Then you do the same thing to the top. Over here, I'm not gonna go to the end of the furniture because there's just not enough gap behind the extractor fan. So I'll measure just down to the extractor fan. And it's three, four, nine. Both sides. Three, five, one. You can see already, I can spot discrepancy there. And to the bottom. Now, because there is nothing to measure against over here, 
we're going to take two readings over there. Take the reading from the bottom. Three, zero, six. And two, nine, four. We can see discrepancy there and there again. Now it is very important to measure the outside, the entrance, to make sure your splashback can actually fit through the front. And I can see it's fine. Only these two measurements are perfect. That tells me that the splashback is actually going, the units are going slightly out like that. In this instance, because the discrepancy is only minor, it's only two millimeters, I would always choose the smaller one. Okay, so we go three zero six and three four three four nine. Now we need to do deductions. Okay, at this moment we measured the, the space absolutely tight, but we want to have a little bit of a tolerance for fitting the glass in, so we're going to deduct minus two millimeters from everywhere okay so you end up with slightly smaller splash back if you are confident with your measurements you don't have to do deductions on the bottom okay and that will ensure a perfect fit at the top and the sides will be silicone sealed. I have completed all the dimensions. Now I'm going to do deductions from the left edge, the right edge and the top edge. I'm not going to do on the bottom. And these are my final dimensions after the deductions. So now we have our final measurements completed with all the deductions added. Now as it is, you can simply take a picture of your beautiful drawings and email it to Creoglass and we will provide you with the, with the price and supply of one of our famous hot glass flashbacks made to order.